In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to be playing man coverage in Madden 24, as well as a secret that is going to make your man coverage 10 times better, no matter what formation, no matter what offense you are playing against. Now, today's video, we're in the 46 defensive playbook. I've got a ton of different defensive ebooks on my Patreon page out of this playbook, including the four or the, the 335 normal, uh, the dollar 326, the uh, nickel 33 cub, which I believe is one of the better defenses in the game. And we've got big nickel over G on the way this week. So uh, if you want to be a Patreon member, you'll get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, the link is going to be down in the description below. Okay, so how do you make your man coverage better in Madden? This is a, uh, a really, really important video if you're wanting to play man coverage. I think it's actually fairly important no matter whether you're playing man coverage or zone coverage because in Madden, especially if you're a good player, man coverage is going to inevitably have zones around it and zone coverage is going to inevitably have man concepts behind it as well. So uh, what we're going to do with this is we are going to – uh, come out in the nickel 3-3. Now, the reason we come out in nickel 3-3 is because we can put safeties at the linebacker positions, and it's going to allow us to have better personnel on the field to be able to play man coverage. So we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz 0, and this is our base man-to-man -man coverage concept. Now, the first thing you need to understand about man coverage in Madden is that shading actually plays a really, really, really big component of your coverage. Now, there's two tips that I have for you in terms of shading. The first is to use a global shade adjustment that is good for pretty much the majority of people you are going to play, and that is to go ahead and press your coverage and shade your coverage inside and over the top. You're gonna to do that by hitting the uh, Y or triangle button. It's gonna bring up your menu. And then as you can see here, you can flick your right joystick in different directions and it will shade the coverage. For example, I can shade outside. That's gonna tell everybody on the field, hey, look for outside breaking routes. I can shade inside. That's gonna tell them all to look for inside breaking routes. Now in Madden, um, specifically this year, we know that corner routes are not super, super powerful. But what is super powerful is crossing routes and post routes. So when you shade your coverage inside, they're going to do a better job of breaking on inside breaking routes, such as post, in routes, crossing routes, slant routes, any of that stuff. Now, there are another big part uh, of this shading. If you take a look here at the left side of the screen, you're going to notice that if I shade outside, that cornerback, as you see right there, he is going to move. If I shade inside, he moves. If I shade outside, he's going to move as well. So one of the things that I really uh, think is actually pretty interesting is when you shade inside, your opponent might say, okay, well, I have some inside or some outside leverage. So maybe they want to go with an outside breaking pattern, maybe like a C route or a comeback route. So what you'll see here is this is going to you know, get this outside breaking pattern open because I shaded inside. What's really cool about this in Madden is you can globally shade your coverage inside and you can shade them over the top. But now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to individual shading. Individual shading is where you can actually tell a cornerback that he individually on his one assignment is going to play differently than everybody else on the field. So in this example, the way we're going to do this is you're going to hit triangle or Y, um, and then you're going to hit this individual button, which on Xbox, I believe that'll be A. On PlayStation, it is X. And then you're going to select the icon of the receiver that the defender is over. In this example, we're talking about the receiver that is on the left side. And now what you can see here is I can do one of five different adjustments. I can back him off. I can shade him inside or outside. I can press him. I can spotlight him. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to take away those outside breaking patterns, I am going to shade him to the left side. What that does is now he is now shaded outside. And so now if I get an out breaking pattern, I've got a little bit better of a chance. You see here, he's got that outside, outside leverage. He still doesn't play it, but he's outside. Now, this can be uh, also a really, really cool way uh, to defend if your opponent is attacking you with uh, corner routes. For example, I'm going to now take this slot corner and I'm going to shade him to the outside individually. I've globally shaded <coughs> everyone to the inside, but now I'm going to shade this guy to the outside. So what you're going to see here is his cornerback is shaded outside and he's going to do a much better job of hanging on that corner route and he's going to take that away. So you can use the shading based off of the tendencies 
of your opponent. For example, a lot of people in Gun Bunch, they're going to put that circle receiver on post routes or uh, they're, they're typically not going to put him on a corner route. So let's say they're putting him on you know, a post route. Then you're going to go ahead and shade this inside and look at this. Look at this. Uh, look at this absolutely perfect example. As you see right there, he literally runs the route for him and I'm able to take away an inside breaking pattern. Again, the general tip that I want to provide everybody in this video is if you're going to press this year, I really like shading inside and over top because that's going to take away a lot of things like crossers, post routes, skinny post routes, all that stuff. But then situationally, let's say, for example, uh, with this solo wide receiver, I'm going to individually shade him outside. So now, you know, if he runs, you know, like a C route or a comeback route, I've got a much better likelihood of being able to play that. So use the individual shading um, to your to your advantage. Shading also helps in zone coverage. We're trying to get into all that today. The other thing that you can also do is you can shade your coverage away from your help. So in the example of cover two man, um, I have safety help to the corners, to the sidelines. So what I want to do is I don't want to give up anything in breaking. So I'm going to shade inside and underneath. What that is going to do is now if I try to run, you know, some kind of like, you know, in route or skinny post, right, then I'm going to basically have that back because I've shaded inside and underneath. So see right here, shade inside, he's able to play that really, really well, and it ends up producing a knockout. So you're wanting to, in this, you want to put zones on the field that really help this. So one of my favorite coverages right now is to just utilize two hard flats. We're going to shade inside and over top, and then we're going to use two hard flats. Again, I talked about this yesterday against Bunch, but another great tactic is to put that solo wide receiver uh, into an outside third. And then what you're going to see here is let's say they run you know, a play like verticals. The shade inside is going to do a, a really good job of getting you a little bit better defense on that verticals crossing route, and you're going to be able to take that away. So I love shade inside. If they're killing you with corner routes, then you want to individually shade the person who is most likely to be on the corner route outside. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire 4-6 uh, defensive ebook or just any of my ebooks, become a Patreon member. 15 bucks. It gets you literally act or 10 bucks, I apologize. Uh, it'll get you access to everything. It gets you access to all of the ebooks, uh, all of the updates, everything uh, for just uh, just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching the video. And to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.